सबमिटिंग माई सेल्फ टू द सुप्रीम गॉड हेड भगवान श्री स्वामी नारायण जय स्वामी नारायण डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर हर्ड दैट ए थॉट टर्न्स इन टू एन एक्शन एन एक्शन इन टू अबिट एंड हैबिट इन टू अ कैरेक्टर ऑफकोर्स यू मै हैव हर्ड अबाउट इट बट माई क्वेश्चन इज वॉट एफेक्ट्स आवर थॉट वेल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो once a beautiful village named jetpur located in gujarat was mostly populated with brahmin communities one day the village chief of jetpur village with an intention to gain punya he decided to offer the feast to the whole brahmin community of the village darbar made an announcement and invited all the brahmins to his feast that day all the brahmins gathered over there and they started cooking food by themselves among which few brahmins were so tasty minded that they started cooking food by adding onion garlic into it in that village there also lived a staunch devotee of bhagwan swami narayan named jiva joshi the one who is to follow each and every command of shiksha patti where it has been mentioned in shloka number 186 which states that पलांडोलसुनाद्यम च ते न भक्ष्यम न सर्वथा विच मीन्स ऑल माय डिवोटीज शेल नेवर इट ऑनियन गार्लिक एक्सेट्रा दैट आफ्टरनून वेन द फूड वॉज रेडी टू बी सर्व अमॉंग दिस ब्राह्मिंड्स फ्यू ब्राह्मिंड्स वेर जेलस ऑफ जीवा जोशी वेन दे डिड नॉट फाइंड जीवा जोशी इन टू दिस फीस्ट दे थॉट दैट दिस इज द राइट टाइम टू स्पॉल द नेम ऑफ जीवा जोशी सो दिस ब्राह्मिंड्स they went to the darbar and said darbar when all the brahmins are eating at your feast and if any one is left behind with hunger then you will not be getting the complete punya darbar said but i have invited everyone to my feast a brahmin said but darbar there is an egoistic brahmin who pretends to be more religious than all others and he will not be joining in today's feast Darbar said then let's call him and sort out the matter. Darbar ordered his guards to go and call Jiva Joshi. Jiva Joshi entered the hall and greeted Darbar with Jai Swami Narayan. Darbar asked Jiva Joshi why aren't you accepting this feast? With politeness Jiva Joshi replied Please forgive me because I am a devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan I don't eat onion and garlic. which has been added to every dish today so you all please carry on and don't mind from my side another brahmin stood and shouted look darbar we have already told you that this man is so egoistic that he even doesn't care for your words listening to such fire boosting words darbar said jiva joshi i think at least now you will be accepting this feast today Jiva Joshi said dear darbar it's the command of my supreme god at bhagwan swami narayan how can i violate his command further darbar becomes more angry and gives a brutal fatal choice look jiva joshi if you don't want to eat along with this brahmins today then without taking anything you have to walk away from this village so choose what you want dear students it's too difficult to make a choice from this and anyways what is the matter all about just eating onion garlic food once right very simple matter yeah you can eat it once and later do price tip and make everything normal but still you may be surprised that jiva joshi made a great choice of leaving the village just for the sake of god's command for many years his ancestors stayed in the same village they had their own house land properties and all the living necessities but yet jiva joshi did not bother for any of this without any hesitation without any panic jiva joshi along with his family had left the village now this family had only one refuge that was the refuge of supreme god had bhagwan swami narayan they thought that anyways we belongs to bhagwan swami narayan and for the sake of his command 
we had left the village so let's go to him and take his shelter further jiva joshi along with his family they reached junagar where bhagwan swaminarayan was present they performed dhanvat pranam and had darshan of maharaj maharaj then asked jiva joshi what had happened jiva joshi then narrated the complete incident that occurred listening to which all the devotees over there were stunned by the sacrifices that they had made without taking money land or anything with just one pair of cloth on their body they left the village just for the sake of god's command and anyways bhagwan swami narayan is supreme godhead right how can he tolerate all this if someone is sacrificing for the sake of god's command then remember god is always there to protect his devotees immediately bhagwan swami narayan wrote a letter to his two prominent devotees bhagu and mool stating that this jiva joshi is my true devotee at present he has nothing along with him so you both have to take care of jiva joshi and his family provide him with all the living necessities and settle down his family as soon as possible dear students god loves taking care of those who follows his command further jiva joshi along with his family they reached pithavadi village where the devotees warmly welcomed them and served them with all the living necessities and within a short period of time they settled down everything from that incident till the lifetime jiva joshi stayed there and performed a great devotion of bhagwan swami narayan likewise jiva joshi had noted down his name into the queue of the stunned devotee of bhagwan swami narayan what a legendary devotee jiva joshi is dear students there are many things to be understood from this charitra if you look to it you may get it how is the faith of jiva joshi on god's command how is the supreme god at bhagwan swami narayan how are these two devotees bhagu and mulu that they had taken the complete care of jiva joshi and his family who takes such care into this kali yug and anyways bhagu and mulu were not the brothers or relatives of jiva joshi but still they thought that if jiva joshi is the devotee of bhagwan swami narayan he is my true brother he is my true relative with such mentality with such intention and emotion bhagu and mulu served jiva joshi and his family dear students why jiva joshi did not accept the food you may have heard about it that food affects our mind but let me tell you how our food affects our destiny The series is such that as the food so the mind as the mind so the thought as the thought so the action as the action so the habit as the habit so the character and as the character so the destiny this is how the food affects our destiny so let's not have onion garlic food impious food outside food non vegetarian food and have pure and pious vegetarian food and let's become a stunned devotee of bhagwan swami narayan like jiva joshi thank you jai swami narayan